miscarriage is very common, but multiple reoccurring ones are not common. So at that point, I said, let me just go to the doctor. And I honestly thought it was something easy, like it was gonna be some easy fix. That I didn't think it would be as complicated as it was. Going through fertility treatments is hard. Sandy's case was really interesting. And, and the last thing anybody ever wants to be in medicine is interesting. Now we have an instrument where we can basically peek and treat. We look, we find, and we treat it because of the ability to constantly have suction of the tissue while it's being chewed up. Dr. Miller reassured me that with the True Clear, that he had greater visibility into the uterus and also was able to be conservative in removing the material. So we didn't have to worry about more retained products that could ultimately lead to more difficulty. You want the uterus to be in perfect condition for when we tried the next time. Now one of the things that I noticed at the time of the procedure that had been unrecognized was the fact that Sandy's uterus was slightly abnormally shaped. There was a little dip in the uterus. It's not fully heart-shaped, but that was also part of the reason why I wasn't getting pregnant. So doing the True Clear procedure gave him visibility to uncover that. A couple of months after, we had surgery to repair that. And then when I got the green light, we did another frozen embryo transfer and it worked and I was able to get pregnant. I, I was so superstitious. I didn't tell people for weeks, months that I was pregnant. And even, even like in the nine month, I still couldn't believe I was really gonna have a baby this time. I mean, I was in denial up until the day my water broke. I didn't even have a backpack. <laughs> and lo and behold, Albie. That was you. Daddy holding him for the first time. We have to balance expectation. We really have to prevent complications. Not gonna guarantee, but it's gonna give the couple their very, very best chance.